Okay, so I've been really into making these fidget toys lately. They like make patterns when you turn them. And I've been designing my own and this is the most recent one that's just come off the print. So in this video, we're gonna test out the new design of this fidget here that I did in a square form. And then I'm also gonna take you through how I went about designing it and some of the trials and tribulations that I faced because it was not a smooth process. So buckle up, I hope you enjoy it. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It's this really pretty square pattern. And the thing that I'm worried about is the angles will be too sharp and it won't make the cool pattern. So this is gonna be a test to see if this design works. Oh, it's making a pattern. It's really cool, it works. Oh, I think I've really nailed how to make them. I'm so proud. I think it's even better than this one. It's like the full size. But I think that I was right. I think that the less corners you have, the less rotations you get. So you can see this curve here. And now let's do it on this one. Look how much bigger that curve is, but it's actually the same design, like all the same like gaps proportionally. This one's just scaled down. So I think that's why the triangle probably won't work, but I will test it out. I'll do the triangle next. And then I think I want to do one with loads of corners. These are all the ones I've done so far and I put all of the files up on printables. So the link is in my bio if you wanna check it out. So to make these fidgets, I started in Fusion 360 and I made an inscribed polygon and I just set it to five centimeters radius. And then I just painstakingly made all the different offsets. So I did a couple of different experiments, but I did one millimeter um, for the wall and then two millimeters for the gap between the wall. So I kind of did one, uh, three, four, uh, six, you know, and so on. <laughs> you can see if you're good at maths, then maybe this will be better. So then I finished the sketch and then I just extruded it to get it ready to import into Blender. And I realized it didn't look quite right. And so the worst thing happened is one of the things that I did was one millimeter too big. And so it had this weird gap in the middle. And what's so annoying about this process is I haven't found a way to like make the offset from an offset. So you kind of have to do it all from that initial shape, which means that you kind can't easily edit it, which is very, very annoying. And if any of you are fusion experts, please let me know if you know a better way to do this. Basically, I had to go through and painstakingly redo all of the numbers. I probably honestly would have been better to just delete the whole file and start again, but I didn't. And then it was at this weird rotation as well. So just the whole thing was a bit of a mess, to be honest. But then I imported it into Blender. And the reason I do it in Blender is because I haven't found a way in Fusion to extrude. So it's all scaled uniformly in one direction. And so so I put it into Blender and then I can scale it so that the bottom bit is out because I found that if I scaled one bit to go in, like the top or the bottom to go in, then the shapes were a bit off. And so it's better for the extrusion that you did to be like the top of the fidget because then it will have the best shape. And then the, the extruded like outside bit doesn't have to have as clean a shape. So that's the bit you can extrude. So I scale it all uniformly and then I go in object by object and I just make sure that I scale it. So it's going to be past like the last line of the previous layer because that way it won't like slip out of the layer because it'll get stuck in the middle if that even makes any sense and then I just put it into my slicer and you're good to go I find that the best way to print this is to put a bit of glue down because some of them were totally fine and some of them spaghettied out all the time so now I just put glue down and it's totally fine with no supports or anything so yeah I hope you enjoy and if you make any cool shapes please make a video tag me whatever I really want to see if you watch this far, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm.